so in my quest to find cheap and easy to obtain fuels for rockets, next we're going to try silicone. Uh, this is silicone type 1. I got it from Home Depot for $5. Um, and in theory, I've made igniters from this. Uh, it's pretty high energy density. Uh, it should make a really good binder, and also it'll cure all the way through. Um, weirdly enough, silicone is actually air permeable, but it's not water permeable. So the silicone should be able to cure completely through, and we don't have to worry about, like with the acetone, not all of it evaporating off. And we should not have to worry about air bubbles like the acetone, in theory. So the first formula we're going to try to make, I'm going to use 70% ammonium perchlorate, 8% magnesium, 1% copper oxide, uh, and then the rest is just the silicone type 1 that I got at Home Depot. Um, we'll see how that goes. We might end up having to tweak it, um, but that's the plan. Okay, so first off, I ended up moving outside because um, the silicone actually has acetic acid in it, and it was one of the worst smelling things of all time. Um, so if you do make this propellant, do not mix it in your basement or any kind of enclosed space. Just spider. Nice. Um, the propellant turned out really good, actually. It's very... So yeah, this is some of the scrap leftover propellant. Um, I didn't quite have enough time to really mix it thoroughly, but it's still um, it's still pretty strong. I mean, it would take a lot to break it. So I was able to pack um, quite a bit into our casting tubes here. And so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to trim these to length. Okay, so this is really interesting. I was cutting the grain up in pieces. The bottom of the grain didn't turn out very well. Um, it's really hard to pack this stuff considering you probably only have like three or four minutes of work time before the silicone really starts to harden up. Um, but what's really interesting is it doesn't stick to the cardboard. Um, and this is a pretty big problem because the cardboard is actually supposed to keep the outside of the propellant from burning. You really just want the core to burn. Um, so I'm either have to gonna account for that or I'm gonna have to wrap something around the outside of these grains to keep them from burning on the outside as well. Um, but they're pretty, they're really strong. I mean they didn't come out perfectly but I mean for the first time of ever trying this, it's they're actually not too bad. Um, so I didn't have as much propellant here as I would like. Um, there's definitely some voids and uh, definitely had some problems packing um, the first little bit of the silicone just because of how bad it smelled. Um, so we're gonna still we're gonna still try it. I mean, I can still put just these two grains in this motor, use a much smaller nozzle, and uh, we'll see what happens. Completed motor. We're gonna do silicone, Home Depot silicone powered rocket motor in five, four, three,
Nope, nope, that didn't work. That did not work. <laughs> Damn it. Well, that's why you do electrical ignition. Um, yeah. So I think we need to try that again. <laughs>